Today is the 30 days of 30 paintings, day number 18, and I'm excited that you're here and that I am ready to go and paint away. I um, woke up this morning with a feeling of refreshment or refreshing ideas and feeling good about my direction. So I think for today I'm going to go abstract and keep the landscape idea, but just really hone in on the texture and blocks of color and that kind of thing. So we'll see. Um, I threw a bunny in there yesterday, so who knows? I might be a little pig or something. Just kidding. All right, talk to you soon. Bye. Okay, so I am ready to play. I spoke in my earlier video um, about going a little more abstract and just playful today. I'm, I, I'm laying out my colors as we speak. I should have had that done. Um, but I'm laying out my colors and I was just thinking out loud about you know what it was that I what, what is it that's driving me to want to go more abstract and and it's the for me I love texture and I think I want more of that so I will strive for that today to add more even more texture into my work um, if possible um, the other thing I'm thinking of is that I have not done a landscape scene with <clears throat> with the idea of like a water pond. And of course, when you think of water ponds, or at least when I think of a water pond, I think of a water garden, which is Monet. So it could almost go Monet-esque Monet on us. We'll see. Not sure. We will soon find out. And I think my skies, um, I've been really happy with them. And um, I'm going to keep continuing in that direction. I might change up a little bit of the tonality or as far as I think I'm gonna try and keep a little more purples in the in the color palette maybe a lighter hue um, and maybe tint a little more I don't know we'll see so I'm gonna try a few different things on on today to just see so again I'm just laying out a mood or a feeling and working in some of my purples that I spoke about um, I don't know why. When I think of Monet, I think of purple too. That could be also why I'm thinking this. Um, I think because a lot of times, if you noticed in his work, he did a lot of uh, purple in the water gardens and um, could be the, uh, I think he had like some lilac trees or those, I can't remember the names of those trees, but they have the, the uh, flowers that kind of hang down um, from a, Vine. I don't know why it's losing my, I can't think of the name of those, but anyway, um, not lilacs. I don't know. Anyhow, um, maybe wisteria? That might be what I'm thinking of, wisteria. So, anyway, how? Um, happy with this. I think this is cool. I'm going to put a little bit of a pinky undertone in here. Um, that's gotten, I've overplayed that. That's another word for that because it got too red, and I definitely don't want that, so I'm going to tone that back down. There we go. And I think I need a little more of my purple again. I lost some of that. It's interesting, the purples, when I paint in oils, I'm noticing that they, <clears throat> they don't, um, usually with acrylics, purples are very intense and, and I find that I don't have to use very much. And, and it could be the brand, or it could be the type of paint I'm using as far as the purple, but it seems like I'm not able to maintain the intensity of it as well as I did with my my acrylic paints and again that could be operator error that could be me doing that I'm not sure I need to look into this a little more myself so it's that is my job to find these answers out okay so happy with this um, yeah happy with that so now the next stage I'm going through is um, I want to create a feeling of abstractness with this realistic background I just applied. So now I'm going to start going to put in some um, larger pieces and create the feeling of what I would call Monet's garden or a, a very green garden um, with a water with water scenes. And um, so we'll see what I can come up with here. So I'm just gonna start adding in some color. 
And as I'm getting back, I want to get some of my lighter colors in here to create that distance. But I also want to create a mimic or somewhat mimic what's going on up above too. Not in the same color because as it gets in here, it would change anyway. But I just want to um, kind of complement that shape and start applying. Now I have to remember, I just remembered, I need to start maintaining spaces. Remember we talked about in my last video how they were starting to blend or merge or get too um, uh, muddied and I don't want that so I do have to remember that. The other thing is this is starting to feel almost ocean and I wanted it more of a pond so I need to, to take care of that. The best way that I can think of doing that right now would be I need to get some larger big shapes and maybe even some trees in here. So I'm going to go ahead and start laying down or laying in the idea of trees in here. And so a lot of this background now is going to end up being hidden, but that's okay. Okay. And I need to create that feeling of maybe a pond in here so I'm just kind of laying out some ideas and again I'm, I'm trying to keep this kind of abstract so I don't want to overdo things um, in fact I might even this is the beauty of oil paint I can kind of wipe out some areas I think it would be fun to put that abstract well in, in that case it was a bridge but I'm gonna make mine abstract so Monet's bridge and I'm just gonna put a big chunk right here just to give it that feeling of a bridge and these are gonna be like the idea of trees cascading down. But again, I want to keep this pretty simple. I don't want to overwork it. And so I'll just start really playing in. And I'm not even trying to make these look like, you know, perfect real trees. I'm just having fun. Um, it, because I've talked about this before, and I know you probably are sick of hearing it, but for me, I find that if I start bogging myself with all the detail, I really do start to, um, I regret the the journey. It's not a fun journey for me, and then it's it's just, it defeats my whole purpose of being an artist. So for me, um, I want the viewer to know that I was happy doing this painting, and um, so that's that's why I'm doing this. I, I have to go with my heart, and my heart's telling me that this is what's going to make me happy, so that's what I'm doing. All right, so I'm, a, I'm again, just applying a lot of greenery back here because in his gardens, at least I've never even been there. I'm talking like I've been there. But um, in my mind, his gardens had lots of greenery, and so I'm just kind of putting a lot of cascaded greenery back in here. Um, cascades of greenery, I should say. Um, okay. I already have to load up more paint. I can't believe this. So anyhow, um, you get the idea of what I'm doing here. And maintain a little bit of that sky still in there. And this would be a great opportunity to get some, uh, maybe some shrubs back in here. And I might have to tone some of these down, but again, I'm just, I'm not trying to make this realistic. I'm just trying to get the feelings that I want out of this painting. And that is the feeling of just a very, green lush water garden and as though maybe Monet could have been there so that's what I'm doing I would love to go I have a couple friends if you're if you're watching Margaret shout out to you because I know you went and that was what a cool experience that must have been um, okay so someday I'm gonna go <laughs> someday Okay, um, just a few more little things. I lost a little bit of this tree in here. I'm just gonna add that in. And again, I'm, I'm worried that, am I getting too realistic? These are all things I'm gonna be asking myself. Okay, Nicole, so I know you're having fun, which is cool, so, it, so I'm not gonna worry about it. If I'm having fun, I'm gonna keep doing it. However, it is getting a little more real than I set out, and I don't know if that's a bad thing. I don't know. Um, but I'm going to keep going, and who knows, it might change. I might get a little looser, and and maybe by the time it's done, it will feel looser. We'll see. We will see. So, 
So what I'm doing is just big blocks of color, uh, creating the feeling of uh, depth by doing that, and also by um, by doing this. Also, I'm creating what I wanted was just abstract the feeling of an abstract scene to some degree. However, I like I said, it is getting a little more um, detailed than I planned out. Okay, so I'm just gonna come in and this is where I think I'll um, maybe start adding in just a few areas of all the greenery and I can always wipe out some areas. So I'm gonna go ahead now and start adding. And I'm going pretty bold with this yellow because again, remember I told you it, it merges with what's in there. So by me, I'm just gonna show you when I put this in, do you see how it turns green in areas? And if you can see that, that's great. Sometimes this camera doesn't show, but um, it's important to, sh to sh explain this a little bit to you because that's the reason why oil painting is a little harder for some people to paint because when you're doing wet on wet, you have to remember that the colors will merge and they will change as you're painting. So um, just a little bit of information for you. And I love a, a nice, you know, white, Lily, so let me see if I can't get some in there now. Um, and again, I know this is going to kind of merge too, so it's going to change this up a little bit. So I'm just going to put in some big chunks. And notice how some of them I'm just putting them in and not worrying so much about what the finished product, because the eye a person knows if they start seeing water and they see leaves floating in the water and they start to see um, what appears to be flowers, they're automatically going to put the pieces together and say, oh, it's a water garden. So there's not, it doesn't make sense for me to put in all the detail. I could, and I think it's cool when people do that. I, it's not me, so that's why I don't do it. Um, if someone wanted to do that, I think it's great. I think they should. I, it's just, um, yeah, for me, it's not going to. It's not going to be in my vocabulary for this piece. I I love um, I love the expression of painting and not being bogged down by um, the detail of the painting. But I love the appreciate and appreciate I should say love and appreciate artists that do do that. And um, and even when I teach, I sometimes have to put my hand underneath my seat to keep my hands from wanting to take control of the brush and loosen them up because. It's a it's a personal thing, and um, sorry about that phone. I'm working today, and um, there's a retail shop down below, and so they um, have an intercom, so you'll hear that in the video sometimes. Okay, so um, so now I'm applying just a few more nuggets of fun color, and I I'm thinking I don't know if I want I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna start going a little big right in here for the viewer, just be in bigger chunks of, of uh, lily pads. So then it has that feeling of being closer to it. We'll try that and see, I'm not sure. It, it's either gonna be great or, or it's not, and we'll find out. But yeah, I think this is fun. I like it. And again, it's maybe not for everyone, and uh, that's okay. That's what why art is so fun. There's there's an artist for everyone, and that's the other thing is there shouldn't be any competition in art, because even if someone tried to even paint like me, they're not going to paint like me. They're going to do they they might set out to do that, and it might sometimes it's a good representation of it, but um. But they're true. If they're painting from their heart, it will it will show, and it won't be the best work, their best work, because it's not painting what they're speaking. It's not their language, so they're not. You know, it's not actually helping them to paint like someone else. You're always better off painting your your way. So that's that's um, important to remember. Um, and it's easy to want to paint like someone else. And, the, and I, that's a nice thing. That's cool. And you should. You should take um, you should uh, what I'm trying to say is you should 
take the feeling or f figure out what it is that you like about their work and then kind of run with it with your own your own desire or your own passionate way of ex expressing it so that's that's also um, a nice way to think about when you do look at other art you know what you ask yourself what is it that you like about that artist what you know what 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 represents you you know out of what they do is there anything there that's you you like it for a reason so there's got to be something there so think about you know what is it that I like about their work or or maybe it's just I don't know maybe it's just their personality if you know the person or that sometimes can make a difference too um, I know that I've heard that from people okay so this is cool and I, now I'm just gonna go in and I want to get some grasses in here because there's always like lots of like grasses growing and kind of going up and uh, and also I like to kind of draw the eye back a little bit so I'll put a couple of little nuggets of white back in here that makes the eye think well what what's back there what it what is it that she's What's what's behind that bridge? I guess that's what I'm trying to say. And where's that leading us? Where's that where's that taking my eye? Or you know, are those is that more water back there? Is that a lily? Is that you know, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just gonna put a little little bit of some green back in here too. I hope this I mean I like it. It's not nearly as uh <laughs> I wouldn't say it's contemporary, I would say it's more impressionistic, but you know, that's okay. I um as long as I'm happy with it, and then there's always tomorrow I can do another painting and and uh, try it, try it one more time. And again, just because I came out thinking I was going to do something doesn't mean I have to do that. It's just that was my instinct when I walked up here, and I usually try to keep that. And if I don't, usually in this case not so much because I've been having fun. Um, but usually I find myself really struggling, and if I'm struggling, then I <clears throat> excuse me, then I know that probably wasn't the best approach. So, um, yeah. Okay. So, thank you guys again for being here. Um, I will do a couple little things. And again, I'm not doing much merging this time. I'm kind of keeping this pretty simple. Um, and, I, yeah, I think this is going to be it. Because, again, um, Yesterday I felt like I kind of overworked it a little bit and I don't want to do that today So I'm, I'm just gonna be happy with what I have right now And I'm gonna put in a few more little nuggets here and there and other than that. I think I'm done so I appreciate it again and If there's anything that I didn't address or you have questions be ha I'm more than happy to answer you on my blog or on my um, YouTube site and also um, if you are interested in my work, you know, don't forget to subscribe so that you're you're getting the information when I send it out. And then these are also going to be available on um, sale, probably for a short time. I, I talked about it a little bit last time. I, I decided that I kind of want to be able to um, frame these myself, um, and so I might end up doing that, and that's going to change the price of them. So I'm just letting people know now so that I don't let them down if they go back to try and buy one and it's not on there anymore. So, okay, thanks again. Have a wonderful day. If you're a painter or just love to do art, I, I hope that um, I see you again and that you have taken away some information from me today that you yourself can use in the future. And um, yeah, so just enjoy your day. All right, take care, bye. Okay, so I just finished and my takeaway for today was to um, just, um, I think for this water scene, because I had never been there, again, it's one of those things, just, just go with what you think it is or what you envision in your mind. And it's okay, I, I wasn't trying to be Monet, I just wanted to have that feeling of what I would think it's like, so that was cool. Um, don't overdo it so when I thought I was done and said I was done on the video I pretty much stopped last time I went back in and did some more work and and it did turn out fine but then I ended up, ended up having go, to go back in and rework it and that wasn't uh, fun that took a lot more time so I, I would say I was happy that I stopped when I said I was going to 
Um, the overall result is great. It's not as abstract as I wanted it. I would say it's more impressionistic or expressionistic, but um, in my mind, I, when I think of abstract, I think of it as being a little bit more non-descriptive or non-subjective, and that's probably not the right word. So maybe what I need to be saying is just more expressionistic or impressionistic. So that's my takeaway, and I just uh, appreciate so much you being here, and thanks again, and I will see you tomorrow. Okay, bye.